There's nothing that I can show you that would be as dramatic or as believable as something that you can imagine. Hi, my name is Sam Scorey and I'm the director and co-producer of Theatre of Notes podcast presentation of The Ravages of Love Story by William Nedved. This is such an interesting piece to work on as a director because Will's written it so these two characters could be played by anyone and I love that. Once I came up with the formal conceit of the play, that it would consist solely of dialogue, there'd be no stage direction, no character descriptions, and that the actors would switch roles at performances, I knew exactly what I wanted to explore in this play. When we were looking for the actors, we were really searching for people who found different parts of themselves in each of the two roles, whether it be the actor or the stranger. And we were also looking for people whose voices were really distinct from each other and would sound really great together and have good audio chemistry, if that's a thing. <laughs> All right, I will start my recording. And Alicia will start in three, two, one. What drew me to this piece was the fact that it is so much of an enigma. It is something that, um, everybody will take something from it that will be completely different and still completely right. For me, The Ravages is a story about self-discovery and rediscovery. Through a lot of um, abstract situations, it really hits on that chord. Something really exciting about this play is the idea that the two actors switch roles. Want to call it? Anyone feel strongly about heads or tails? So if done in person, what would happen is you would determine which actor plays which role. And we still wanted to keep that spontaneity in it, but maybe give the audience some of that choice. So the way we're going to do the podcast is we're going to have a heads version and a tails version. So the audience can flip a coin and determine which version they should listen to. Take one, Alicia as the actor, Max as a stranger. We're doing it. Here we go. <laughs> it was really wonderful. It was wonderful being able to really uh, imagine this place and bring it to life using just our voices. And then we got to talking. And what did I say? Well, you said, tell me, tell what, you me remember. what you remember. When you're on stage, there's so much you can express just with your body and with your face. A touch can mean a lot. We didn't have that. It was purely our voices. That's the crisis? I'm so glad you get me. That's why I'm wasting my morning? We'll get through this together. Why telling this story is important to me right now is connection. That's what we need right now. We need to connect with each other. And um, that's what both the actor and the stranger are searching for, some type of connection. He's trying to shed himself of that title of stranger by finding somebody who knows him, being known and belonging. It's a total disconnect, you know? It's like he speaks in riddles. And she speaks in rhymes. Oh, I hear you. <laughs> I'm incredibly grateful to Theatre of Note for premiering The Ravages in what I think is the play's purest form, an audio drama. It's almost genreless. It's an adventure, it's a thriller, it's a love story, it's a comedy, it's a drama, it's a horror. It's a story of life and we're trying to figure out who am I and what am I supposed to be doing? There will certainly be an adventure. There will be danger. Go listen to The Ravages. It's going to be a lot of fun. It premieres on February 14th, 2021. Wherever you listen to podcasts, uh, we're going to make that happen. So yeah, come listen.